Hello LEGO fans and welcome to my channel, it's Gareth here, also known as Beans Bricks. I will be talking about today the LEGO set 7636, the Combined Harvester. This set came out in 2009 and consisted of 360 pieces. And now the original 7636 is green and probably represents a class or a John Deere Combine Harvester. So I decided to remake it but in the most popular colour I have in my collection, which is red. With those colours, it made sense for me to make a combine harvester from when I was younger. I used to see them in the fields at home. They were mainly Massey Ferguson's, with the red body and yellow wheels and white roof. So making a Massey Ferguson combine harvester seemed to make sense to me. I also got reproduction stickers for it from Old Britain toys as well. And here it is. It's an exact replica of 7636, but obviously in red and with the Massey Ferguson stickers on it. It has a hitching point at the back, so you can be able to connect trailers and whatnot. The decal stickers that I used for this, I got offline from a site called Britain's Toy Farm. They do model parts, conversions and reproduction stickers for old Britain's toys. And I find them the correct scale for Lego models. Here it is with my pigsties. Now this combined harvester has removable front blades. The reason why you can remove the blade in reality, I am guessing, is so that the combined harvester can move from field to field without the blades being in the way or taking up the entire road. They are easy enough to remove, you just need to pull them out the front and to put them back just slide them back in the holes that they came out of with the locking pins. The cab opens up just like the original one. And you can put the driver inside. The driver of the Combine Harvester I used using a uh, collectible minifigure hat also with the headphones around his neck to make him look like he was just chilling in the cab whilst he drove it. The rotary blades of the combine are movable up and down. This also assists in helping you be able to put the blades back into the main body of the combine. The boom can also move out to the side so that you can put a tractor with a trailer following it to catch all the crop as it's been harvested. When you push the combine, the blades at the front rotate so it gives the effect that it cuts the crops. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this content and hopefully you'll join me for my next video.